This video describes how the Basic Formal Ontology, BFO, can be used to support the Department of Defense Net-Centric Data Strategy, produced by Bill Mandrick and Peter Morozov. The Basic Formal Ontology can support the DoD Net-Centric Data Strategy, the Department of Defense Architecture Framework, and the Horizontal Integration of Intelligence Information by providing an overarching common framework developed by ontology experts, scientists, and domain experts, a standardized process that results in semantically consistent and interoperable community-level ontologies, an objectively verifiable taxonomical hierarchy based upon scientific principles, and standardized relations used in inferencing and decision support. The basic formal ontology starts by distinguishing between continuant entities and occurrence or events. Continuants include such things as material entities, sites, spatial regions, object aggregates, qualities, dispositions, functions, and roles. Material entities, object aggregates, and sites exist as independent continuants. Roles, functions, properties, and capabilities are dependent continuants because they are dependent upon other objects for their existence. Generically dependent continuants include information artifacts such as descriptions, names, geospatial data, measurement data, and directives. They are generically dependent upon physical information bearing entities for their existence. Continuants are those things that continue to exist in time. They are contrasted with occurrence, which occur or unfold themselves through time. Occurrence include natural processes such as weather events and biological processes, and planned processes such as political events and targeting events. An example of a process aggregate would be a series of related military engagements that make up a battle, and then the series of related battles that make up a war. This graphic depicts the four major categories of the basic formal ontology. By populating these categories with sample content, we can see the comprehensiveness of the BFO. Independent continuants include agents, physical artifacts, systems, sites, and spatial regions. Specifically dependent continuants include qualities, roles, capabilities, and functions. Generically dependent continuants include directives, descriptions, designations, measurement data, and other information artifacts. Occurrence include natural processes, human acts, and other events. To show how several B BFO conformant ontologies can be related to each other, consider the following example. A human being in an agent ontology will have physical characteristics and can be in numerous roles such as a key leader, an engineer, a financier, etc. They will also have certain skills and social functions. Of course, any human being in a key leader role will participate in social and political acts or processes. Furthermore, all of this can be captured, described, designated, measured, or expressed by various information artifacts. The basic formal ontology facilitates consistent extensions to various lower level ontologies such as the organization ontology. The basic formal ontology's repeatable process facilitates the creation of accurate and consistent definitions as shown here. The basic formal ontology also allows for the representation of different views of the same object or event. Here we see the representation of a human being by their physical properties shown on the left as well as some of the roles that they might be in shown on the right. Information artifacts are the sorts of things that can be about in other words, can stand in the relation of aboutness to other entities. They describe, 
annotate, designate, enumerate, express, and relate entities and events. The basic formal ontology facilitates the categorization of occurrence, which can be decomposed down to the required level of granularity. The use of standardized relations allows for inferencing between ontologies. Each relation is defined in the basic formal ontology as shown here. It is important to note that BFO is a small asserted ontology designed to provide a common set of general types and relations for reuse in many different domains, thereby facilitating coordination and interoperability. Asserted ontologies are created by way of an is-a hierarchy, so that we say, for example, a weapons technical intelligence report is a type of intelligence report, or an IED explosion event is a type of IED event, or a military grid coordinate datum is a type of grid coordinate datum, or an area of operations is a type of constructed geospatial object. Inferred ontologies relate the entities and events in asserted ontologies so that we can infer, for example, a weapons technical report describes some IED event, or an IED clearing event was located at some area of influence, or a grid coordinate datum designates some constructed geospatial object. Let's look at one more sample of an inferred ontology. Here we see an instance of a building, which is part of the artifact ontology. This text string is an instance of a military grid reference grid coordinate, which denotes some spatial region where some building is located. The building is in a production facility role as well as a target role, which are both part of the target of part of the role ontology. And this text string is an instance of a target number which denotes some target role. All Department of Defense ontologies that extend from the BFO would be posted to a DOD ontology suite to facilitate information sharing and interoperability. Every term within an ontology will have its own resource identifier and definition, as shown here. Many institutions, groups, and projects use the basic formal ontology to create consistent, unambiguous semantics, which are shareable across disparate communities and facilitate unity of effort. Implementation of the BFO would have the same effect across the Department of Defense, resulting in a shared semantic resource similar to the one found in a high-functioning Joint Operations Center. In conclusion, the basic formal ontology was created by ontology experts for use in scientific research and information integration. It contributes to the horizontal integration of information by providing a common overarching framework that will facilitate consistent semantics resulting from standardized processes, which creates objectively verifiable taxonomies with standardized relations and consistently formed definitions. Please send any questions pertaining to this video to the following email. Or for more information on the basic formal ontology, see these sites.